when life throws you off course, off track, it's a call to regain your balance, to return to inner awareness and focus. and to center and breathe. And then you're available and receptive to, to heal, be nourished, and re-inspired. Please thank yourself for being here, for honoring your health and wellness. Our true nature, which is awareness, which is presence, which is the interconnectedness that you may be aware of at times, or a lot, or hardly ever, maybe in your mind never possibly. It's, there's a wide range of how people sort of frame that, those words to mean something in their own experience. <clears throat> but I'd just like to say a few simple things. Awareness is like sunshine. It's like the beating of your heart. It's like the grass growing. birds chirping, the waves of the ocean undulating, the movement of the life force through the infinite expressions of it in this so-called relative material existence. <clears throat> and we are that. We are made of the earth and the sun physically, but we are also the sunlight. And the force of nature that grows the grass and beats your heart. The practice that <clears throat> allows you to truly find your authentic path for you. is literally no different than the life force that has brought you from infancy to now. Unknowable, really. Not in our control. And yet we live these lives daily <laughs> as best we can. <clears throat> so, Again, I want to welcome you here because here is everywhere and every place and is all of what we call the future and the past. That's the here I'm talking about. The here that when you are here, at least for that moment you are 
at peace, regardless of whatever may be going on in your body, in the world. And that has been known as and called the saving grace, of course. Because when you are in that nourishment, field of nourishment, you can take the next step with clarity. And the next step is shown to you. Not from egoic striving for survival, but from a deeper non-egoic trust that is what your life is already. Don't you already unknowingly trust your heart to pump your blood? <laughs> Without even knowing it, you do. For your blood to oxygenate, or whatever it does, all the things it does that we sort of know about, you know, the countless things that we know about in that way. Who's doing it? Who's running your brain, firing the synapses, the trillions of synapses or whatever that are going off every second? I mean, who could manage that really? <laughs> what could manage it? <laughs> When I was four, I looked up at the stars and said, what's going on? I'm still asking that question. <laughs> I hope that you're still cultivating your innocence, where you can look at the world in your life and go, what's going on? What's happening? And be open and available to discover. Instead of getting caught in the identities of defensiveness and resistance, the survival identities, which sometimes we just have to be in. That's all. And that's understandable. Allow yourself to open and receive here this presence, consciousness, awareness that is literally what you are, what we all are. And in that, we are connected in one. Those are not coming out of me as platitudes. Those are descriptions of what's being perceived from this perspective right now. Language is limited. We really don't need it as much as we think. <laughs> so be with you now. Be with all the parts of you that may be needing attention. <clears throat> Unconditional love and acceptance. And I've been talking about since the retreat and have for decades, really. Learn to literally touch yourself with your attention. Because that is what happens when you truly give attention within yourself. You are actually touching yourself. And the communication of your body sensations and emotions are saying, 
please touch me. Please give me your attention, not your thinking mind, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's some analytical meaning-making machine. Don't get caught in AI. That's what that is. That just creates more programs, more identities. No, give yourself. And if you need to put your hand somewhere to help you, like I was saying with the finger-touching exercise at the retreat, um, and... Uh, and return to sensing. Return out of the compulsive thinking mind that can't help itself. It's just what it does. It's a nonstop, plugged in forever AI machine that is, you know, thinking <laughs> when it is. <laughs> and very problematic as well, I may say, isn't it? But rather, let these parts of you and these sensations and feelings know that you are truly here for them. So that you are cultivating, as we used to say, internal referencing rather than external referencing. Notice when you look outside of yourself, and when you do, you're probably vulnerable and afraid and needing help and support, which is human nature and good to know that. And if you need to ask for and reach out for help, even here when we get to that part. But also before you can reach out, no, there's a part of you that is reaching out, that is needing to be held and reassured. And you'll know that your attention and the way you're giving attention is working because some part of you will start to settle and relax, maybe even release emotion. You might feel more, it's true, it might even be more intense, but that doesn't mean you're not being healed. In fact, it probably means you are being healed or that you're experiencing the growing pains of transformation. Because true transformation, which I call the evolutionary force, is when it is painful. when we are literally being broken through the paradigms of what we thought life was or what our life was. When we used to say in a fun way, we're getting our mind blown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a positive thing from where I come from. <laughs> having your pictures and your projections like taken from you and like, wow, what's this I'm experiencing? Those experiences, however they happen for you, are refreshing, right? It's like refreshing your browser, unplugging your system and plugging it back in and rebooting it or something. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to unplug the thing to get the bugs to get out and for it to work again, at least on a computer tech level, right? So it's the first thing that tech experts do is, you know, turn it off, <laughs> unplug it. That's what we're doing. We're unplugging and we're replugging into the source. Guess what? 
You're not doing that. And if you think you are, we need to have a talk about that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. No one's doing it. It's, it's just the grass growing, the sun shining, your heart beating. And if you think you're doing those things, we also need to have a talk. <laughs> it's amazing what we think we're in control of and responsible for. So much of it is not true especially in this environment. Okay. Thank you for listening. It's good to see you and be with you. I was just so looking forward to being with you. I know this has, for many, been a pretty rough time. I'm so glad we have each other. So, to each and every one of you, whether I know you well or not at all, much love. Much love. And profound blessings for your wellness and your happiness. and the emergence and deepening of the inner peace that you truly long for and are fulfilled as. <laughs>